Are humans doomed to serve a robot overlord? Intel's Frank Soki is here to show us about robots that actually can help us. Hey, Frank. Hello. Okay, so Intel's got robots that are not going to make us subservient and actually take <laughs> over the world. Skynet's not real, but these robots are real. Tell me a little bit about them. Well, first of all, these robots are very cool. They're, uh, they're human form uh, in proportion. Very exciting. They're probably the most widely deployed uh, human form robots in, in research around today. They this, can move and talk and interact with you. This robot's called NOW, N-A-O. Yes. What makes NOW special? I think what makes NOW special is the way it can interact with people and with its environment. It can speak to you, it can listen to you, it can see you, it can, because it can visualize things, it can interact with the environment around it, uh, it can do things for you. Um, and it's a, actually a great research tool that's helping us understand how we can treat things like autism, uh, care for the elderly, um, health care issues and people who are physically challenged. So people are unnaturally scared of robots because of science fiction, but <laughs> real robots are just a combination of interesting systems. There's speech recognition, there's some yes. visual recognition, yes. there's obviously a lot of computer power in there, and there are 25 articulated joints in now that can each be programmed individually and need to be programmed, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, as a matter of fact, if you're ready for a demo. I'm ready for a demo. I want to see right. now do uh, his, its, her, is it a, it's a <laughs> robot, it's not a boy or a girl, right? It's, 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 it's neither. It's neither. It's, it's now. a genderless now robot. Uh-oh. So you should get up and introduce himself. Get out of town. Hi, my name is Now, from Algebra Robotics. So now needed to be taught to walk. That's correct. And someone apparently taught now how to do Tai Chi. Uh, yes, Tai Chi and balance. So very engaging when you watch this. You know, once people see that now robot move, they can't take their eyes off of it. It really helps teachers in classrooms teach students about science and technology, keeps them engaged and interesting. And that's a very complicated move to be able to balance like that. There are a lot of humans that can't balance like that. <laughs> correct. And he brings his own music. <laughs> Which is always nice if you're going to do Tai Chi to bring your own sound system. Yes. And another benefit of being a robot. So seriously though, this is not a very scary robot. This is a very exciting robot. What's the practical use that we're going to see come out of this research device? Well, I, I was saying a little bit earlier, in teaching, engaging students, in research in universities, I think there's about 1,400 of these robots deployed in about uh, 500 universities in about 32 countries around the world. I'm and going to guess there are Intel chips in there? Yes, of course there's Intel of chips course. in there, which <laughs> Intel loves technology. And uh, seeing something like this and, and Intel's focus on enriching people's lives through technology like this is very, very focused for us, very big focus for us. Where does a student go to learn about robots? Where, where do I go online? Where's a great place to go? Well, actually, the NOW website is actually a pretty decent place to go. There's some education materials there. And then um, through NOW and through uh, their current university and, and uh, high school programs, teachers have become familiar with it, the way that this robot can use them in teaching aids and the type of research that can be done. Frank Soki from Intel, this has been so exciting. NOW, thanks so much. I know you can't hear me because you're just an inanimate object, but that was some awesome Tai Chi. I'm Shelly Palmer, and NOW you and me are watching Live Digital.